here in the grips of COVID, it is very, very easy to feel disconnected. I've been in this basement for a year and I haven't been able to hang out with my brother and my friends. So that disconnection is having an effect on all of us. And that's something that Ginny Campbell from Coaching with Ginny helps people with. Ginny, thank you for talking to us today about how we get connected again when we are all so isolated. So let's start with this one question. What are the dangers of this disconnection? Right. Well, thanks, Craig. We've we've seen it with uh, a year. You're in your basement. Uh, I I was in a basement until we moved, and now I'm in a condo. And it's hard. Like the walls feel like they're moving in, and uh, a lot of my clients this past year in 2020, they were definitely feeling disconnected. And, and had to adjust how they looked at things. And once we got over the shock of we actually can't go and visit in person, it was then taking on the journey of how do you, you know, stay in touch with your friends and keep your life moving forward and not feel like you're uh, living Groundhog Day every day, uh, the same thing over and over. So for a lot of my clients, it, it also just, my clients come to me because they are feeling like they're in a, a rut, that they are a little lost and confused, want to make changes, but don't know how. So in making the changes, we start with tiny steps and a big thing for me and what I see with my clients and friends and colleagues is connection that it takes energy, but the payoff is huge. And it's connecting with your friends, making a call each week, or if you're out for your walk in the neighborhood, saying hello from a distance and checking in and sharing a laugh. We need connection. We need to feel that we belong to something, something bigger. So community, that's why we've seen just this incredible growth online of meetups, networking groups, groups that get together to talk about the most obscure things, but they get to dialogue and, and exchange conversation and ideas. Yeah, I belong to two networking groups. And you know, the idea is that you meet them and they refer you for business for other people. Uh, and all of that's great. The number one reason I go now is it uh, as a solopreneur is that it gives me a chance to meet some people and talk to some people and feel part of something. And talk about something other than yourself or living in your head and going constantly reviewing your list that is long and negative and it's engaging. And as we know, and when we experience this, it brings us joy. But it's about giving. Like when we start giving to each other, we're going we're gonna to get so many benefits from that, just in our mental health, physical health. And also we get to help other people and in turn, they're helping you. And so while we're a little squirrely in our basement and we're, you know, this is happening all the time. I, I'm guessing, or I'm taking from what you're saying is that when you reach out and connect to someone else, it's not actually just for you. That's for them too. Oh yeah. Like I, I think it is so important. It's, it's a two way conversation. You know, you reach out to a friend and you check in and, and, and you share back and forth. What's, how's it going? And you need some help. Let's talk it through. Let's come up with some ideas. Or if it's a bigger group, like the meetup group you spoke of, you are part of an energy. It has its own energy field. And that, that rubs off. Uh, the other day, um, as it happens to be, I was with Craig in a meetup. And uh, at 9 a.m. when the meetup was over, I had a client call. And I got going on with my client. And she said, hold on, hold on. Have you had like a lot of coffee? because I was full of energy from having spent time 
with another a, gr a group of humans who in had things to share and, and we had some laughs so it's important and i think we forget and because we're so critical and hard on ourselves and and the monkey on our shoulder is saying oh i don't have anything to contribute i'm so boring i don't have an exciting life that is so not true you just you got to trust you got to take a deep breath and you got to leave your comfort zone and try take that tiny step forward and then the next day take another step and before you know it you're part of a group and holy moly you're talking yeah so you know these things they almost sound obvious except that this far in uh, you know, I used to do something called social isolation lunches where I'd have lunch with somebody a couple times a week. I've even stopped doing that and I miss them. Uh, I've actually scheduled one for today. It's the first one I've scheduled in months. So people are actually getting away from some of the things that they have done early on to help themselves. And in your coaching business, you can give people strategies to help them make those connections both now and when we come out of COVID. So how can people reach you to get you to help them with those strategies. Thanks, Craig. You you can reach me at Ginny, at Ginny, Ginny at coachingwithginny.com. And my website is coachingwithginny.com. And my website, if you go there, there's information on what uh, my coaching is all about and how it works and the benefits. And also has some information uh, about me and my story. Uh, so please check it out. Uh, I'm here to help and I've, my clients have come to me feeling stuck and downtrodden and beating themselves up and thinking not great things about themselves. And they soon discover, of course, that is not the truth, but it's a safe, comfortable place to come and rediscover some of your interests and passions and look at life with fresh new perspective. And I've known Ginny from our days in the television industry. And I can tell you that she's always been a force for good and a mentor and a very, very easy person to talk to who always looked out for other people. So make sure you reach out to Ginny Campbell at Coaching with Ginny. Thanks. Thanks, Thanks very much.